What's up, y'all? Big Herc 916. And I like to say, let's, you know, a game and hopefully motivating you to do something positive with your life. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and check out BigHerc916.com for more on life coaching. I wanted to talk about piggybacking. And you probably wonder, what the fuck are you talking about piggybacking? Piggybacking is when somebody wants to ride on your coattail but don't want to put any of the work. What I mean by that is, say for instance, you're out there grinding, you're trapping, you're taking all the risk, but yet the other person is watching to see if you get away with what you're doing and they want to benefit in the reward. That's called piggybacking. It's also piggybacking, say for instance, when you make an investment and that investment is somewhat risque. Maybe it's in real estate, maybe it's in cryptocurrency, maybe it's in um, starting a new venture. And initially, it seems like the cards are stacked against you. But when that venture starts to take off and you see profit, then that person wants to come and put their money in the pot. That's called piggybacking. See, a lot of people like to piggyback because they don't want to take the risk but yet they want the benefits of the reward. I call those people slime balls. Pieces of shit. If you're not gonna get in with me on the ground level, if you're not gonna take the risk, then why the fuck do you deserve the reward? It doesn't make sense, but yet they get mad at you because they say, oh, now you balling, you doing this, and you act like this and that. Nah, I don't act like I'm anything. I'm the same motherfucker that told you to get in when I initially told you about it. I hear that all the time, man. You know, people don't want to uh, do something with you, but yet, once you get the money, they want to borrow some. Hey, man, I know you got it. You, you acting like you know you ain't got it or blah, 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 or, you know... How, how you doing this now and blah. I, look, man, I told you what I was doing and you sat back and laughed at me or you didn't want to participate. But now that shit is rolling and it took a minute to get off the ground, you want to jump in? Nah, motherfucker, won't you? You could just hang on the back and, and I'll wave at you in the rear view like uh, I was doing initially because you didn't want to get in. So watch out for the piggybackers. You got a lot of them out there. Male, female, relative, cousin, brother, you know, they're all over. They're hiding out, you know, and when you're really a motivator and you're trying to do things and you're trying to get people to work together, that's what you get a lot of the times unless these people have the same intentions you have. See, that's why people say, oh, man, um, let's, you know, we can't make nothing happen. Well, we can make shit happen, but you got to want to participate. You got to want to get your hands dirty. And that's what a lot of people don't understand when it comes to actually creating something. You can't sit back and wait for something to be successful and then reap all the benefits. Because at that point, I don't need your money. The venture doesn't need your money. And, you know, we might just take your money and give you a really, 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 really small return on your investment because now it's rolling. I don't need your capital if I'm, I'm doing you a favor now. When initially I was trying to partner up with you or do something as a team and you weren't trying to, you weren't trying to play like that. So, you know, you, you have a lot of them man, out there, you know, whether it be in the hood, you know, motherfuckers see you, you, you trapping, getting bread or in the corporate world or, you know, while you're going to college, people are watching. Oh, man, they, they, you know, you're still going to school. But then you get out, you get that motherfucking hookup with that job that's paying you motherfucking high six figures, seven figures, and you're balling. People want to now, oh, man, what's up? You know, uh, you know, can I, you know, can I get a loan from you? Or you think you can help a brother out? Or nah, nah. Because when I was struggling and I was doing my thing, you were on the sideline. You weren't participating. So stay on the sideline. So beware of the piggybackers. Don't let them drain you. And if a motherfucker trying to get into something, tell them to get in at the ground level. Let them know. I mean, if you got an idea, you got something you're going to invest in, say, hey, let's come together as partners now while we all take the, we all sharing the risk. 
so that we leverage the risk so that no one person takes the blunt of it. You know, I, I, I try to do that with a couple of different things and people sit back and laugh, but you know, I'm gonna have the last laugh because at the end of the day, I never stop trying new things to try to come up. And that's the difference between a winner and a loser. You know what I mean? Or somebody who just likes to uh, have their motherfucking pom-poms and be cheering on the sideline, you know? Get in the game, put a helmet on, let me see what you can do. But other than that, piggybackers, you get no love, man. So um, yeah, y'all, watch out for the piggybackers.